Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to see that how we can, you know, build a VS Code extension using a local, locally running large language model. So we're going to use DeepSeek, uh, you know, which is, of course, DeepSeek models, which is of AI based startup based out of China, you know, and they have created uh, a lot of noise. Uh, and of course, for the all the obvious region of their frugal innovation or the way they have worked, you know, uh, with a limited set of budgets, you know, to uh, train these models, uh, you know, DeepSeek R1 and a lot of other models that they provide. Now, how can we use this model, you know, to create a VS Code extension? So VS Code is an IDE, right, which basically helps you write code, run code, manages, you know, a lot of other things. So VS Code is one of the most used uh, IDE out there in the developer community. So we're going to use this DeepSeek R1 model, you know, uh, dense distilled model from Llamas, QNs, whatever, the smaller size DeepSeek R1 model, and then, you know, uh we're gonna use uh, olama to run this locally so olama is a tool that basically helps you inference you know large language models on compute limited devices like cpus and you know uh, single gpus where you do not have a very high compute power that's why we use olama to run these uh, models locally in our machine without internet connectivity right now we're gonna use vs code olama and DeepSeek. Combine all these three together, build an extension, and see how we can use it. So, if you look at here on my screen, what we need to build this first is the DeepSeek model. So, this is Olama website. It's called olama.com/search. So, you have to go here. If you don't have, first of all, even if you're going there, if you don't have Olama, click on this download option. You can download based on your operating system. If you are on Windows, you can just click on download for Windows, double click install. If you are on Linux machine, it will give you a sudo command to run it. You can just run that and in install. And Mac OS, you can draw it through Brew, right? So that's how it works. Now go back to models. Now in the models, once you have installed Olama, you can just do Olama list to find out if there's any existing model. Otherwise, you can just pull this model by, by using a command here. If you look at this command, it says Olama run DeepSeek R1. You can select a variant of model weights and you can just run this command. If you're running it for the first time, you can again do run also. It will first pull the model and then it will run the model. So that's that's how this is on the model side. But this is not what we want to do in this video. In this video, I'll first show you that what we're going to build. Okay. So if you look at here, I have something called Olama DeepSeek extension. If I go to run this locally, just to show you how it works. When I click on run extension, you know, it will open a new VS code window. That will be extension uh, development host. You can see it opens a new uh, VS code window here, right? Uh, and what we have to do, you have to open this palette. When you open this palette, you know, you go to show and run command. You can see I have something called open deep seek chat. When you click on that, it opens a chat window. Now, this is the chat window it opens within the VS code. So it's basically your extension that is running locally. Of course, we can publish this. Now, here I have a bunch of fast API code. So I just come here and I want uh, my extension because basically we want to integrate this within our work workflow that like the coding workflow that we go through. Here I can say write some test cases for below code. I paste that. And when I click on send, you, you know, it will start getting the responses right from uh, Olama. You can see it says, all right, so I'm trying to write some test cases for this fast API code, blah, blah, blah. You know, and this model, this is coming from DeepSeek model, the responses that you see, right? And all is happening locally within VS Code. So we are not using any kind of internet connectivity here or any kind of APIs. You know, you can see it gives you uh, some test cases for this particular uh functions that we have uh in in fast api you know it, it gives you something over here this is just an example that how you can run it and uh, use it now very bare bone uh a chat window that you see you can style it i will show you where you can bring all this styling and you can also integrate vector databases and you can do a lot of things so i'm going to cover that that how you can you know make this a bit different how you can design it better so on and so forth right now you can do that now this is this is an and uh, 
response that it has given you. So this is what we're going to build here, guys. You know, we're going to build this integrated chat using DeepSeek in VS Code, basically an extension that can also get published through Visual Studio Code extension VSCE. You can publish that on marketplaces and that will be available here through an, as an extension. You can also do that, right, that we see. So let's let's jump into it and see how we can develop it now. So I'll just close this. And I'll just, I'll just close all of this, right? Let me just close all of this. Now I'm gonna go inside my YT video. I'm gonna create, I'm gonna open this here. And let's let's go step by step. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to create a directory. We should create a directory here, right? Let's start by scratch. So what I'm gonna do is make directory. So I'm gonna use mkdir and then I'm going to give the name of the directory i'm going to call it olama deep seek extension and when i do it i'm just, just going to do cd inside it olama deep seek extension and i'm just going to first clear it so i am inside my directory olama now to generate the project configuration for a vs code extension we're going to use the yo man or yo and with the with something called VS Code Extension Generator, that's called Generator Hyphen Code. So we're gonna combine a couple of libraries and frameworks to basically, you know, uh, start creating it. So first, what you have to do if you don't have, excuse me, <coughs> my bad, I have a bit running nose. Now, if you do not have Yeoman and VS Code Extension Generator, you can install it through npm install. You do hyphen g and you do yo and then you can do generator code i already have it but i'm just showing you how you can do it if you look at here i just did npm install hyphen g yo yo is the bedrock for this particular uh project where you need it to basically you know create uh, project configurations you know with few lines of code blah 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 it automatically creates a project uh, config for you now this is going to take a bit of time so we are going to wait for it Meanwhile, I'll go back to my GitHub because this, this is available on my GitHub as well. So you can just probably if you don't need it because there are only two one file that we basically care about, which is extension.typescript.ts. And there are a couple of changes that we're going to make in the package.json and the TS, con, or TS config file because we have to bring up DOM element and everything just to avoid some error. So basically, you do not need a lot of code to write if you just want to build that bare bone looking chatbot okay but if you want to uh, make it more style you know you want to bring css elements or whatever you know make it a very comprehensive kind of a board then you have to write a lot of code and we're going to go through it so it's it's available on my github as well now i'll go back here and just for your information make sure that you have a deep sick model locally available through Olama, so you can do that. Now, what I'm gonna do is, uh, once this is done, right? Uh, when you install, it's better to install VSCE as well, because using that, you can push that into uh, Visual Studio Marketplace, NPM install, okay. Sorry, there's a bit of typo. Now you can also do NPM install hyphen GVSE, because you know, that will, uh, that will also, help you publish this on Visual Studio Marketplace. Now this one, this is done. You're just gonna do your code. When you do your code, it's gonna ask you, uh, it's very interactive. So you can see it says, welcome to Visual Studio Code Extension Generator. So it says, what type of extension do you want to create? I'm gonna say, I need TypeScript, so I'll keep it default. It says, what is the name of your extension? So let's call it Olama Deep Seek Extension. And it says what the identifier, I'm gonna keep it same. What is the description of, so we're gonna say of a simple VS Code extension. I'm just gonna write it like that, that integrates Olama based local LLMs for chat. This is my initializer Git repository. I'll just say no, it should ideally say yes. I'm gonna do unbundle, keep npm as the package manager, and you can see it has basically created a bunch of files. Basically, it's a project directory that it gets created by using you, and it install a few 
modules and libraries and once that is done you're gonna just open this in code so you're gonna say open with code and when i do open with code it's gonna open a vs code over here now you can see it has opened into a vs code now it has a bunch of file you can see the most important file here is that src extension ta so this is the file where we're going to write our code right now it's very simple it says congratulations let me do an alt j so you can read it it says congratulations your extension o llama deep seek extension is now active blah 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 you know a lot of things right now when this is done we have to do couple of more things we have to do npm install o llama because we have to install o llama within this project directory so npm install o llama when you do npm install o llama it's going to add the o llama modules to this packages to this you know project now if you go to package json you know let me do an alt j you can find out your package.json over here you know we're going to make some changes of course now there are a few things that we have to change okay uh, let me come back here i'm going to show you uh, this is my package json you can see the couple of things that we we change it let's do not like call it dot hello world and all so we're gonna just get rid of this like this hello world we're gonna call it chat so let's just call it chat so i'm just gonna call it chat and you can also get rid of this title so it's available on here my package json you can see it says open tips like this will be available on the command palette so i was showing you this when you do control shift p it brings up the command palette on the top in the vs code so this is what it will be available so we're just gonna call it something good so i'm gonna call it open deep seek chat okay right this is what we're gonna call it now this is what you can if you need this package json you can also use it because it's pretty similar it's the same thing you know we do not have anything extra you know the same thing that we that we used so this is package json now if you look at this extension ts here you have to bring the uh chat window so what i'm gonna do is copy paste the code and explain that i don't want to write the hell hell lot of code over here so i'm just gonna copy this and i'm going to explain that to you so come to extension ts just do a control a remove and then control v and let me do an or okay i think it's already that's no i'm gonna do an alt jet and i'm going to explain you this so let me just make this thingy okay now if you look at here it says import olama from olama okay or if you have to other way to connect olama you can also do it now this is fine uh it's basically in your entry code this is where our register our chat command so this should be make sure that this is very same what you have mentioned in the package json olama deep seek extension dot chat this basically create a wave view panel this is what it does you know it creates deep seek chat blah 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 this is the panel title which will be written on top and you can see this is fine uh this is fine we have something like it should only respond in english user prompt you know here we bring up olama to get streaming responses now make sure that this is same to the model that you have pulled if you have pulled a different model this will be the name there like you can replace this name or you can also have a drop down where you can have multiple models and you can use any one of the models if you want to use and this is just stream responses back to the web view the chat window and and in below what we have it's very simple html to solve the ui now this is where i don't have a lot of expertise you can design it in your own way so make sure that this is where you design all your html css styling or if you are using any other uh, material css or whatever I, I mean i don't know you can you can do that uh so make sure you do it let me just plug in my charge monitor here one second okay now one more thing we have to do we have to add a dom element library here in this ts config otherwise you will get and headers in it not found not faced error if you don't do it so make sure that you add this dom here now if you get any problem you can come to this three files package json extension ts and ts config and you can just you'll be good with that right now once this is done let me just get rid of ts config you can see there is a folder called dot vs code in this launch json this is the file is basically used to launch it okay so this is very important you can see here and this will also create a 
I'll show that it will create a file for you so you can go through it. Now this is done. Let's run it. So first what you have to do, you have to come to this run extension. Let me just get run extension, run and debug and you have to do F5. When you do F5, it will run it and open a separate window. So let's do that. You can see it has opened a new VS Code window. You know, it's uh, it's called extension development hole because we are running it locally, like we are debugging it right now. It's in the debug mode. Now this will this is called extension development host where you can trigger the command and test it out, right? So let's have a look. If you are not seeing this for the first time, it means that you have to type it and search it because I have been using it frequently, so it shows me here. But if for in your case, it might not show you. You can see it has opened deep seek chat. So I'm gonna probably ask uh write a uh, uh Python script to train a regression model using scikit learn. And I do send. Now what happens is when you Basically, imagine you are working in some kind of project and you need an integrated chat window. You don't want to go to chat GPT or DeepSeek because most of the time we spend so much time right in VS Code that we don't want to go to any other outside chat window or I, I, I basically don't even go outside VS Code. Like I have a lot of extensions, valuable extensions that I work with. So this is something that you can probably build and there are a lot of already available uh, extensions like this. There are a lot of videos available. I just wanted to create for my audience. Now you can enhance this better. There's a lot of scope to basically expand this project further, and you can do a lot of things with that. If you look at here, it's basically gives me uh, whatever I need. You know, over here, you can see this script provides a comprehensive approach, blah blah blah, and a lot of things, right? Deep seek chat. This is very simple. Yeah. Now you can also have a copy to clipboard options. You can get this in a very div card and then copy to clipboard, send emails, download files, blah, blah. you can do a lot of things guys, right? Now with this, so this is what I wanted to create guys in this video, show you how you can do it. You can also publish this on Visual Studio Market, extension marketplace, you know, where you can bring this available for the global audience, the global VS Code uh, users. Uh, let me know if you are doing that. Very happy to go and review that for you guys. So let me know in the comment box if you are doing something like that. Now, if you, uh, if you face any challenges while developing this or replicating this, let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel, channel banner and channel about us. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in your future. I hope you like this video. You learned a few things about how do we build this kind of you know solutions how do we do these kind of projects i'm very happy to see what you are building so please let me know you can also join our discord channel find the information on channel banner again and of course share this video guys and the channel to your friends and to peer thank you so much for watching see you in the next one